This is an unbirth announcement for the child I never met. Never touched, never hugged. But doesn't mean I never loved. This is an unbirth announcement. This is a video that expectant parents of pregnancies that end in loss are being encouraged to share. The unbirth announcement is one of many ways that the Pregnancy and Infant Loss Network, or PALE, hopes to get people talking. And Pales program manager, Michelle LaFontaine, joins us with more. Good morning to you. Good morning. Because this is Im so important because we don't realize how many pregnancies end in a loss. It's true. There's one in four pregnancies is the recognized number. And we know that that is very underreported. So many families who may have an early loss might not even have sought medical attention for that. And so the number is probably much higher. And so how do you get people to talk about it? Because I, I can imagine that close family members who know that there's been a loss, they probably don't, well, I don't want to bring it up. I don't want to upset anybody. And, and then the parents themselves, like how do you, you know, if you're being invited to showers or, or you're seeing somebody with a baby, how must that feel? As a bereaved mom myself, it's a very, very difficult situation to find yourself in. It's one that you never imagined that you would be in and for, many families who experience a miscarriage in their first trimester, they might not even have told anybody that they're pregnant yet. You know, our society still feels that you shouldn't share your pregnancy until your past 12 weeks. And so for a lot of families, when they have this type of loss, they, they don't even know where to start that conversation. And so this video gives them some of the language that they might be lacking to share what's happened to them uh, and also to share what they might like to have in terms of support from family and friends. Right, and to normalize it, right, and to grieve. Yes, that's a, a huge misnomer, I think, when it comes to an early pregnancy loss, that you were only seven weeks pregnant, you were only 10 weeks pregnant, but what we know is that the grief is not tied to the number of gestational weeks, it's tied to the attachment that you have to that baby, and many families the second you find out you're pregnant, you start to kind of imagine yourself in the future. Yeah. You have lots of hopes for that baby and for you as a family. Right, and to that end, even things on your social media search, you're probably looking for, for things like diapers and all this kind of stuff, but you have, as part of the Pale Network, you have an opt out so that you're not getting those messages as a horrible reminder. Yes, yeah, social media can be a very unsafe place for families and we all have had it happen where you start looking at one ad and all of a sudden you're just bombarded with ads for many other things in that same category. And so the baby ad opto is really an algorithm breaker so that families can go back to their social networks after downloading this tool and feel a little bit safer when they're navigating through social media channels. Right, and you're also encouraging expectant parents who've had a loss to download the unbirth announcement, maybe post it on their social media as a way of kind of getting, okay, this has happened to us, understand how we feel. That's right, it's, it's giving them a little bit of words to share, uh, and it's amazing the feedback that we've gotten already from families with other people then commenting, me too, that happened to me, thank you for sharing. Opening that conversation will definitely reduce the stigma and the isolation that surrounds families who have experienced a pregnancy loss. Mm -hmm. Or even understanding, oh, now I understand why you were upset at work or, or something like that. Excellent program that you've got going on and we hope uh, that with this interview, we reach out to a lot more people. So we're gonna get uh, all the information on how to contact the PALE Network on uh, our website, chch.com. Michelle, thank you for speaking with us this morning. Thank you for having me. This is an unbirth announcement.